This is the part two video of dockerizing a Django application. If you want to know the basics of Docker, why we use Docker or Docker Compose, please watch the part one of this video. The link will be in the description. This is a simple Django project. So where I can run the python manage.py run server. And if you see, it's just a simple application. Now we have to run this application using the docker. We will go back to our PyCharm and just stop the server, control C. Before that, I'm going to install the Postgres package because we are going to use the Postgres database. For that we install like PG2. Okay, I can also use binary if this gives me an error. Yeah, it's installed. Now I will create the requirements.txt file for that. If freeze requirements.txt. So here I have created a requirements.txt file. In the root directory, create a new file and name it as docker file. Here I will write all our requirements needed for our application to run. Here I have written some comments in the file so that it would be more easier to understand. First, we need a python. So I'm going to install, I'm writing python 3.8 as requirement. This specifies our application needs python 3.8 to be installed. Then here we will write some environment variables for python which is env if you have any other environment variables you can define like this and now here we have to set the working directory inside the container so for that we will write work dir and our applications directory would be slash app now we have to copy the requirements file which is this requirements.txt file into the container at this directory level slash app so for that the command is copy sorry in capital letters copy and requirements.txt and we will specify the location so the command is copy requirements.txt file which is inside the local machine to the container inside the slash app directory after that we have to write the command to install our requirements.txt file which is run pip install hyphen r requirements.txt here we will also write a command to upgrade the pip so which is pip install iphone iphone upgrade and pip this is an optional now again we have to copy the current directory contents like all the code inside this machines directory to the containers directory so for that as i already said copy dot dot refers to all the files and to the location slash app slash we will also write the command for collect static which is run python manage dot py collect static what does this no input do by default when we run the python manage dot py collect static command it asks for the confirmation that we need to copy these files or not so here we are just specifying that no input so it won't ask it directly runs the command and this is it our docker file is completed this is so simple right now we will write our docker compose file for that create a new file docker compose and the extension for this is yml here you can install the docker plugins so that it would be easier for it to read i am ignoring it for now so the first line is the version this three this version specifies 
the docker compose file syntax and now we write services as i said services are nothing but the containers where our application runs and here i can give the name of the container which is web inside this web container i will write a build this build command builds the docker image using the docker file in the specified directory here we have specified the dot this searches for the docker file in the root directory now we need to write a command which is used to run our application it is simply python manage dot py run server and we will write it 0.0.0, .0 colon 8000 and volumes so this volumes command actually mounts the current directory into the container like whenever i change any file inside this directory it automatically gets reflected in the container as well now then we write ports here it maps port 8000 on the host to port 8000 on the container so here we will write a depends on as well so i'm writing db this is the name of the container we haven't written the db yet so we will write after that depends on ensures that the specified container in this case db runs before the current container is run for example in our case the db container should run before the web container starts and we have an environment field as well inside environment we will create some environment variables which are used for our django application Here host is db which means the container name which we will write in some time. By default postgres runs on the port 5432. So these are some environment variables. Now we will write our another service which is another container the postgres here the name of the container is db and then image here we are writing an image which is postgres so this image is already on the docker it is automatically pulled from the docker's cloud and installed in our container and we will write some environment variables postgres db this is the name of the database so the postgres database automatically will be created with the specified environment variables the user would be my database user and the password is my password and the name of the database is my db i mean my database this is it look how simple is it but it actually improves a lot in the cloud level. So let's try to run this application using the Docker Compose. Before that, you have to install the Docker and Docker Compose in your local system. For that, just install the Docker desktop application in your Windows system or Mac or Linux as well. This automatically installs Docker and Docker Compose as well. So first go to the directory where our Docker Compose file is present. And now docker compose build. Here this is showing because I haven't started my docker. So this is docker desktop. When I open the docker desktop, automatically the docker starts running in our system. This docker compose build command first creates the docker image. This command might take some time. Okay, there is an error. Let me use static file. Okay, this is because I haven't set the static root in the settings file. I can just remove this line for now. 
I'll just comment it and run the build command again. You are done. Now I will run the command docker compose up. So all my two containers have been started. One is web one, which is uh, the Django application and the other is DB, which is the Postgres. So before that, go to settings.py file in the Django demo app and just update the database settings. For now, I'm not using the environment variables. For using the environment variables, we have to install an, another package and we have to do some process. So I'm just keeping that part. Please do let me know if you want to know what are environment variables and why do we use, why should we use the environment variables for the sensitive data like passwords or secret keys. For now, I just copy and paste it here. That's it. So if you check here, okay, here we have to write Postgres here. So whenever I'm changing anything in the code, it automatically reflects in the container. You can see our server is running fine. This means our database is connected successfully. And just go to localhost 8000 and run. Here you go. So now our Django application is being run through the Docker. So let's try to go inside the admin panel. For this, we have to create a super user and creating a super user means we have to run a command. Now, because our database is inside the container, we cannot directly run the command over here. For that, first we have to go inside the container. Then we have to run the command, which is create super user. So the super user is created in the database, which is present inside the container. For that, we have to write docker compose exec and web web is the name of the container which we have defined here and now we have to write the manage dot file and create super user so this is how we will write the management commands sorry so i have to write dot slash as well okay before that i have to run the migrate command so first we will migrate here you go and then create super user i'll write home home at gmail.com here you go now go to the admin and write home 2311 so this is how we run the management commands for our web application. We have successfully dockerized our Django application. If you have any doubts regarding this tutorial, please comment down below. I will try to resolve it as soon as possible. And also please do let me know if you want me to create a video on deploying this dockerized application onto AWS or Google Cloud. If this video is helpful to you, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.